Fire! Company Commander Cliff, officers and volunteers of the Air Ministry Company of the Civil Service Battalion of the Home Guard. It is a great pleasure for me to have this opportunity of meeting all of you here this afternoon. And it is a great privilege to have seen you at your military work. We all work pretty hard in the Air Ministry and I think, if you'll allow me to say so quite simply, that it's splendid of you, considering all the hard work you have to do, to give up these hours of your scanty leisure to help to defend the country against the threat of German invasion and to prepare to defend your uh, these public offices in which you work in the event of any fifth column or parachutist trickery here in, in London. But, it, but you have shown y yourselves prepared to do it. And as, and as I say, and by, and by throwing yourself into these pre preparations, you're doing this. You're making it a, you're making invasion a very much harder task for Herr Hitler and the German army than it would otherwise be. If we weren't prepared on land, if men like you weren't armed and ready to fight, it would be a much simpler thing to slip up, to slip quite a formidable part, uh, quite a formidable body of men across to these shores. But because we are prepared, it's a much bigger thing. He's got to send far more men and the more men he has to send, the greater risk he runs of having, of his, of his expedition meeting with disaster at the hands of the Navy. That then is the importance of the work that you are doing. I can see you take it seriously. Carry on with joining the Home Guard. Because in the Home Guard, the only men who are wanted... I have done. I'm, I'm thankful for the privilege met you and seen you here this afternoon. And I congratulate you, Company Command Cliff, on the splendid body of men that you have here under your command. 